How to show percentage on bar chart in SPSS? If you're working with data in SPSS and want to create bar charts that show percentages, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to make this happen. First, you need to decide whether you want a cluster bar graph or a stacked bar graph. Both types can be useful, but they serve different purposes. A cluster bar graph is great for comparing different groups side by side, while a stacked bar graph shows how different categories contribute to a whole. Let's start with a cluster bar graph. To create one, you need to identify your independent and dependent variables. For example, if you're studying how people from different social classes feel about a particular issue, your independent variable could be the social class and your dependent variable could be their opinions. In SPSS, you'll use the Chart Builder to create your graph. Place your independent variable on the x-axis and your dependent variable on the y-axis. By default, SPSS will show counts, but you want percentages. To change this, go to the Properties box and select Percent instead of Count. Here's the important part. You need to specify that you want the percentages to be calculated for each category of your independent variable. So, if your independent variable is on the x-axis, you should use the total for each x-axis category. For a stacked bar graph, the process is similar but with a few tweaks. You still place your independent variable on the x-axis and your dependent variable on the stacked section. However, you need to ensure that the percentages are calculated for each x-axis category. This means that each bar in your stacked graph will add up to 100%, showing the distribution of your dependent variable within each category of your independent variable. To set this up in SPSS, go to the Chart Builder, select the Stacked Bar Chart option, and make sure your independent variable is on the x-axis. Then, go to the Properties box and change the default from Count to Percent. Specify that you want the percentages to be based on the total for each x-axis category. This will give you a clear visual of how each category contributes to the whole. Here's an example to make it clearer. If you're analyzing how different majors rate a course, you can create a stacked bar graph where each bar represents a major, and the sections within each bar show the percentage of students from that major who gave different ratings. This way, each bar will add up to 100%, making it easy to compare the distribution of ratings across different majors. By following these steps, you can create bar charts in SPSS that effectively show percentages, helping you to better understand and visualize your data. Remember to always check that your bars add up to 100% to ensure you've set it up correctly. This will make your data analysis more accurate and your charts more informative.